every day is an opportunity to live fulfilling purpose again. And so, he said, seek ye first the kingdom and eat righteousness and all these other things he spoke about will be added unto you. Let me tell you, you can never go chasing things and get them. They must be added. A believer was not designed to chase anything. Everything was designed to be added to him. You are only permitted to pursue the Lord. Every other pursuit is a waste of time. Every. In fact, even the one they say he that find a wife, nobody is called to go looking for a wife. Wife are not lost. You look for what is lost. Nothing is lost. Yes. From the Genesis, Adam was not seeking. It was brought to him. Everything will be added to you. You only seek the Lord. And when you find the Lord, everything will find you. No wonder you have been chasing things. It refused to come. The more you chase it, the more it gone. There are things you put in place that make things come by default. Including God himself. God may seem far to others. Yet again, he's so closer to others. Why? There are things they do that bring him to their vicinity. Simple. God may be everywhere. His manifested presence is trapped into a region by certain people. I don't know where God is right now, but I know he's here. I don't know whether he's in your room in the hostel, but I know he's here. And the goal is to bring you to a point where you can be in the bathroom and God can be there with you. You can be in the farm, God is there with you. You can be in your room, God is there with you. Many of you don't feel God until you enter Shekhaida. You can't live your life like that. God is everywhere. But his manifested presence is trapped. There are things you do that bring him. So, oh God is far from me. I don't feel God. I don't know God. I'm not as if, as if God is not here. God is not with me. You are the only one that have that problem. And the reason is because you have neglected him chasing other things. And I've always said, God is not lost. We are the ones that are lost. God has never been lost. He has been existing before you were even born. The dwelling place of God is, is known. God is not jittering because of anything. There has never been a time when God is lost. We are the ones that are lost. And that's why I always said, God can never be taught. He can only be revealed. And in the day God is revealed to you, it looks as though you have found him. Found him from where? Was he lost? You were the one that has been lost all through this while. Are we in the same page now? It then means that we must be conscious enough to bring ourselves in preparation to a point where we can be able to trap God. Because God is also a spirit. And every spirit is not complete until he finds a habitation. So God himself is not going to settle at all until he finds a place of his rest. Where is the place of my rest? He asked. The earth and the heavens all are mine but i need a place to rest we are the dwelling place of god so we don't need to go seeking for him but we must prepare ourselves as a vessel worthy enough for him to come and dwell very important but that is not going to be possible if you make mammon your goal mammon your goal mammon your pursuit mammon your everything am i saying that you should not do things. Am I saying you should not school? Am I saying you should not do business? Huh? Am I saying you should not apply your wisdom? But let nothing mean more than God in your life. It has become a mammon. Because there are many of you right now that you are willing to give up God for something. That thing is a mammon. It's a very big problem. There are many of you right now seated here. You have a price tag. If somebody come to you now and give you one billion naira, in fact, you will turn to a Muslim. One billion is even too much. Some of you that are looking at your face now, ten million, it will change your name to Abdul Karim or Muhammad or Ibrahim and buy a white jalabia.
what can make you leave God, that thing is an enemy. Because this scripture is to let us understand that until we are totally isolated from everything people call success and we only see God as our success, we are still pursuing mama. As good as your academic pursuit, it can be a mama. As good as a lady, she can be a mama. As good as a guy, he can be a mama. Because many of you stop pursuing God the day you got a guy, a boyfriend. Some of you, the day you got a girlfriend. Some of you, the day you got a new phone, it has become your God. It has distracted you from your fellowship with God. Seek you first the kingdom and its righteousness. All other things will be added to you. How many of us used to be on fire for God until we met a lady? How many of us used to love God until we met a guy? And today, you have loved the guy more than God. And God will allow you to love the guy so well. Then the guy will break your heart. Then you now lose God and lose the guy. The danger of trying to serve two masters is that you lose all the masters. You will be a man without a master. And you cannot exist until there is a lot over you. If you want to serve mammon, serve mammon well. If you want to serve God, serve God well. Are you coming to Shekinah because of a lady? Are you coming because of a guy? That guy, that lady will be the reason why you will not come again. Because they are your God. Seek you first the kingdom and its righteousness. And every other thing will be added to you. Your husband may be the reason why you backslide. Your wife may be the reason why you backslide. Jesus said, Whosoever that has left father, mother, house, everything to pursue me, we get everything back again. The way to serve the Lord in this dispensation is to live as though you have nothing. Everything never means anything to me. I have never come to a point where I celebrated anything except my advancement in God. Sometimes even birthday, I look at it, I, you know, I'm born on Christmas Day and they know we go to mountain that day. On Christmas Day, I fast. But you know you, you can never do it. Because many things to you is a God. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom and its righteousness and every other thing will be added to you. I don't know what has beclouded your heart and life right now. But the reason why you have not gotten many things from God is because it's not the center of your pursuit. The goal is not fame. The goal is not popularity. The goal even impact itself is not the goal. The goal is God himself. But you cannot get God and not get all of these things. It's not possible. Nobody has the capacity to stop a man from getting every other thing when the man has gotten God. It's not possible. And so you wonder why some ugly ladies will still marry. It's because they know God. In the days when all your advantage failed, hold on to the horn of the altar. Because that alone is a multiplicity factor. One with God is majority.